What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today I actually have a really cool video for you. We're going to be showcasing Rapid Strike Style Urshifu and VGC. And the reason we're doing this on Pokemon Showdown and not on the official ladder is because the official ladder won't update to allow the new DLC Pokemon until July 1st. So, uh, until then, or until I get like a nice scheduled best of three with one of my buddies online, uh, we'll be rocking Pokemon Showdown. But yeah, Urshifu is actually really cool. It has a nice speed tier. Uh, you compare it with a couple of Pokemon like Togekiss, Amoongus, and Cinnaroar, and it, it doesn't do half bad. It's actually a really nice Pokemon. Unseen Fist allows you to break through Protect and do literally the same amount of damage that you would have otherwise. It's so gross. Um, Aqua Jet is really nice, but next to it we're running Politoed for Drizzle, Wikiberry. Uh, this Politoed is able to take a modest max special attack Leaf Storm from Venusaur, and then it gets a little bit of health back with Wikiberry. Amoongus is running the Kobeberry because I genuinely feel that Amoongus struggles a little bit more than it would have uh, if this format didn't allow Dynamax, because Max Airstream can be run on so many Pokemon. I think it's just safe to run Cobra Berry. That, and it'll also allow me to lift Dual Wing Beat from Scizor, which I'm assuming we're going to see at some point today. But yeah, the rest of the team is just some standard stuff, Safety Goggles and Cineroar. Um, if you guys want to try out the team, it'll be in the description down below. And yeah, also, be sure to leave a like on the video. We actually reached over 300 likes on my Urshifu movie set guide, so if you guys are excited for this, be sure to turn on notifications, subscribe, leave a like on the video. I started to shoot for 150, and check out my merch. You can buy this t-shirt design for 19 bucks on my merch store, which is linked in the description as well. Uh, you can get like a tank top or whatever for 19 bucks. It's like 35, I think, for the hoodie, and like 35 for the large print high quality tee, but let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into it. I actually uh, completely forgot to turn on the audio in the previous recording. Like I started recording, played like two matches, and then I realized that I wasn't recording any audio. And there it is. That's going to be dual wing beat. <laughs> We're on a low ladder account right now because I don't want to mess with uh, I don't want to mess with my high ladder account when I know nothing about what we're gonna see. Like I'm just trying to I'm just trying to play it safe here. Like I'll, I'll get used to things and then I'll switch over. So let me think here. Um, this is a G Max. GMAX Kingler team if I've ever seen one and I have I made one <laughs> I, I mean they might not even go GMAX Kingler because my, my whole thing is like if you're running Kingler it's GMAX especially when you have that lightning rod support I'm thinking uh, we don't have too much of an incentive to not just lead off with Urshifu Amoongus yeah we can redirect whatever you need to I got safety goggles and Cinnaroo in the back in case they decide to lead off with Amoongus and I think my last Pokemon is probably going to have to be... I kind of want to go Politoed, and I kind of want to go Dragapult. Both of those are pretty tempting. Uh, Politoed, I think, doesn't do quite as much as... Mm, I think... You know, let's go Togekiss, actually. Togekiss makes the most sense, now, now that I'm actually thinking about it. Let me get in this Incineroar, and I'll actually go for a Rage Powder onto the... Oh, not Rage Powder. Let me get an Incineroar to take the, um, take the hit, and I'll actually go for a Spore onto this Kingler. I mean, it could be Lumberry Kingler, and I don't even know if it gets any flying moves. Does Kingler get a flying move? Am I about to have to use my Koba Berry immediately, or whatever that berry is called, uh, Kingler? I'm sure. I'm certain they give it a flying move. All right, no, good, good. <laughs> I thought maybe it would get Aerial Ace because there are so many Pokemon that get Aerial Ace for no good reason. By the way, a lot of you guys have actually been asking me, like, hey, Marcos, how do I get my showdown to look like yours? It's a style. Um, if you, like, download... Oh, okay, I guess we're putting Scyther to sleep. Nice! Okay, this this isn't too bad. Um, I should be able to go for a... I kind of want to Flare Blitz into that Amoongus and also Spore. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm like, there's, like, a 50% chance this man's going to switch out or protect or something. Should I just eliminate Scyther? I mean, Amoongus isn't a threat. Let me just eliminate Scyther. I got a pretty I got pretty much a free KO right here. Okay, no, he's just gonna let me. Yeah. Safety goggles. Thank you. Beautiful. Safety goggles. Beautiful item. Let's see if he knows what it is. Sometimes when I run safety goggles, after a long time of safety goggles not being relevant, like the people will comment like, what just happened? How did you do that? Alright, and this is about to be beautiful. I got the Koba Berry. There's no way I'm not taking this. Let me go for a Flare Blitz into you now. Let me go for a Spore into this Togekiss. And he misses. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude, you saw the safety goggles. <laughs> forfeit. Forfeit right now. See what happens. 
just forfeit. It's fine, man. It's fine. Uh, let me go for this uh, Flare Blitz into the Amunga slot as well as... Um, do I just get in Urshifu? I think I get in my own Togekiss, actually. Yeah, I'll get in my own Togekiss. I can start max air streaming. I'm fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> beautiful. So he's going to start lowering my speed, which is whatever. I'll actually just go ahead and target into the Kingler here. Actually, mm, let me get an Amoongus. I'll start going for Max Airstream into that Kingler. Because it's going to Dynamax. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if he Max Guards. It's probably a Salt Vest, too. As he Dazzling Gleams, I take like nothing from that. Give me my Weakness Policy. That'd be amazing if you could do that for me. Alright, it doesn't look like he actually... I don't know if he's a Salt Vest, judging by that damage. I think he probably is, because I'm Max Special Attack. Uh, let me go ahead and go for the Spore, as he probably anticipates me... Yeah. I was going to say, he's probably not going to target into Amoongus with both of his Mons. Because he doesn't know I have the Koba Berry. There it is. So Kingler's put to sleep. I think I just win now. God, this... <laughs> these two. These two are going to be good. Incineroar, Amoongus, I think they're back on top now. Uh, let me go ahead and go for this uh, Spore into the Togekiss as I max Airstream one last time into that Kingler slot. And I think I win, because I can bring in Urshifu in the back and clean up. I don't want to bring in Urshifu right now, because like they can Air Slash into a Moongus and then that was all for nothing. Like let me get the let me get the last kill with Urshifu. He's taking his time. It's like how am I gonna lose today? What play will I make to lose? Am I gonna follow me and hope I get a and hope I get the wake up? I do not know. Alright, cool. So Urshifu gets to come in for absolutely free. GG. And we get to click Life Orb Surging Strikes. And I don't know if I actually take that Dazzling Gleam. I'll just Dazzling Gleam too. One, two, three, and then Toakis gets the KO. Good game. Good game, man. Beautiful. I actually really like that. that. That was a fun game. It's always fun with your winning. It's not fun when you're losing. And what are you doing using Dusclops? We literally just got Porygon, man. We literally just got Porygon. You're using Dusclops here. Let me think. Um, it doesn't look like he has a way to prevent me from... Because I'm definitely a faster Incineroar. Let me, let me lead off a Moongus Incineroar here. Urshifu in the back could be okay for dealing with uh, Lapras. This close combat's going to be doing chunks. Uh, let me get the Urshifu in the back. I think my last Pokemon, I kind of want to... Do I want to go Politoed or do I want to go Togekiss? I kind of want to go Politoed. I just go for it, man. I'll proceed to Spore and Fake Out into that Incineroar slot. Because I'm pretty sure I'm faster. I run a lot of speed on my Incineroar. Alright, you are sleeping. Are you going to Dynamax? I feel like if you would Dynamax at any point, it would be now. But you would have to hit me with a not very effective move. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll Spore into you. Uh, we have like the same base speed. I feel like if I... Or do we? Let me, let me make sure. I always forget Premier in a speed tier. I know Incineroar's got like 60. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be faster. This team looks Trick Room, so I can Parting Shot on you for free. Alright, he's going to have to go for that uh, Fairy-type move. I don't want to go into Urshifu, though. Definitely don't. Let's see if he goes for a Water move. Yeah, he goes for the next Starfall. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, Is Amoongus a valid Dynamax option? Like, like, let me think about this real quick. Is Amoongus a valid Dynamax option? Because I could start going for Max... Um, I could start going for, like, Max Oozes and then Giga Drain for the win. Because it's not like either of these things break me. It's really not like they break me. I think I just let this thing run out its Dynamax turn, so I'll just Giga Drain and, and I'll Scald. Is he going to be Assault Vest or is he going to be Weakness Policy? I don't know. I'll just go for it. Ooh, okay. Alright, Maractus. Interesting. Makes sense. But I take that hit. I eat it really, really well, in fact. Let me go for this Rage Powder. And I will... Um, let me think. It's got Storm Drain. It's not like this thing does anything, but I would enjoy... Hmm. 
he's gonna starfall, right? I should just get an Incineroar here. And then I'll Parting Shot out next turn on the Primarina, because he's gonna go ahead and go for whatever his move is. The, uh, <laughs> the uh, sound-based version of that. Yeah. So here I can... I can actually stall his Misty Train pretty effectively. Let me Rage Powder. Let me Parting Shot. There's a Spiky Shield. Get right back out into the Politoed. I should be able to take the hit, get my Berry up. As he goes for Parish Song, good one, man. Good one. Um, what do you expect to do? You have less Pokemon than me. <laughs> like, what was your game plan there? Go for this Clear Smog and the Maractus. That's actually a really cool tech, though. That, that kind of makes sense for that reason. But also, you have to switch that thing out eventually. So let me go ahead and protect here. Go for that Clear Smog. There's the Energy Ball. Not doing much. Get in my Incineroar. I almost want to get an Urshifu, but I got two water types here. Um, or I could get an Urshifu now. I could actually get an Urshifu. Yeah, and I'll get in my Incineroar on this slot. Bullet Seed, yeah. Time to Dynamax. Let me go for... Pfft, they just forfeit. Dude, let me use Urshifu. Bro, let me use Urshifu. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> I think you realize, like, hey, um, my team doesn't do well versus Amoongus. Ooh, okay, now this is a Pokemon I've been excited to see. Uh, it is stupid Crocodile, whatever your name is. <laughs> it's actually going to be really good. In my opinion, I think it's going to be really good. Mainly because it's like got Intimidate. I think its other abilities, Moxie and Anger Point. Uh, I don't see Anger Point being that good unless you want to like set up crits with uh, <laughs> with um, Whimsicott and then attempt to beat up Strat where you like maybe get one crit, but I don't know if that's going to work. Um, let me think. Togius is not a bad, or not, not that. Amoongus is not a bad lead. Not at all. And neither is Politoed. I'm thinking here, Incineroar can kind of take a back seat for Togekiss and Urshifu. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Alright. So, kind of wish I had Icy Wind. Kind of wish I did. Does Bear Skew to get a flying move? I know it gets an ice move. I always have to check for that. I always gotta check. Flying. He gets bounce. Is he gonna run bounce? I don't think he's gonna run bounce. Hmm. I could Giga Drain that thing and get huge damage. I'm just gonna Giga Drain and Helping Hand because I think I'm gonna be able to take whatever he throws at me and he's not gonna expect me to want to go for anything other than Spore. Ice Fang, there we go. As long as I don't flinch, I got that Barrascuta. Beautiful. Give me all my health back. Give me all my health back. I thought he was going to Dynamax, to be honest. There's the Arcanine. Uh, let me switch in the Urshifu. And I can take a hit from this from this stupid... Stupid Whimsicott. Uh, let me go ahead and Scald into that Arcanine. There's the Dynamax. Goes for the energy ball. Live, get my wiki berry. Should be able to take whatever. This goes for max flare. Beautiful. Let me get back in the Amoongus on what I assume is going to be um, a fairy move. And I'll switch in Togekiss as well. Because I want to be able to set up the rain for the end game with uh, Urshifu. There's the energy ball. I'm going to take nothing from that. This is going to do a lot to uh, Togekiss. Oh, pff, how do you mess up that bad, man? He was trying to cover his bases and end up covering nothing. Uh, let me go ahead and... I kind of need the redirection to win, I think. I think I should just max Airstream with Togekiss, though. That might make the most sense. Uh, he's going to be going for max Lightning, if anything, into the Togekiss because it's the strongest. So I'm going to get my weakness policy. I'll get a Politoed because I don't think he'll be able to reset the, the sun. So I'll max Airstream here. There's the Helping Hand. Now, I think I can take this even with the Helping Hand. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Uh, let me go for the Scald into the Arcanine and a Max Airstream into Whimsicott. Because if I can get rid of Whimsicott, I'm in a good spot. Or actually, I might even just double into... <laughs> I might just double into Whimsicott for the KO, because Amoongus Urshifu is going to be really cool for the endgame. 
as he has extreme speed. Uh, disappointed, but not surprised. Let me go for the Rage Powder. And I'll go for the Surging Strikes. I shouldn't take much from that Flare Blitz. In fact, ooh, I can, actually, I could... I could Aqua Jet here, because I think he's going to go for, like, Flare Blitz into this thing. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that's why Aqua Jet's right there. Um, I can beat Amoongus 1v1 with Clear Smog, so it's all dependent on what's in the back. As it's Crocodile. Beautiful. Let me go for this Rage Powder. And let me go for the Surging Strikes. Earthquake wouldn't be able to knock me out. Ooh, but you know what would? You know what would? I should Aqua Jet and I should Giga Drain. The reason I'm going to do that is because he could actually ignore my... He could ignore my redirection with Whimsicott and KO me with uh, Moonblast. Or Energy Ball. Either one. So I'll actually just Giga Drain to be safe. And then I'll Aqua Jet. <sighs> Yikes. Okay. I'm really glad... <laughs> I'm really glad for that ability. That is busted. That is busted. I actually completely forgot we had that ability. Clear smog. <laughs> Good game, man. <laughs> Clear smog. Dude, that's so busted. I, I actually thought I lost right there. And then I'm like, wait, it doesn't matter if he protects. I win. GG, man. This mod's busted. He's actually busted. Let's get... Let's get another game. This mod's actually busted. Like, Crocodile's like, here, let me, let me protect. And then... Or she was like, no. No, you're not protecting. This is slightly reminiscent of VGC 17 for some reason. Like, I just see Gudra and, and the boys. It's going to be some simple Swoobat shenanigans, isn't it? That was alliteration, by the way, guys. Alliteration, if... Uh, I know it's summer, you guys don't want to learn. But it's called alliteration when you use the same letter over and over again. GLHF. Uh, what am I going to do here? Urshifu is scary versus his team like all of it like every one of them so i'm gonna lead off with him amoongus not even that bro not even that i'm gonna lead off urshifu politoed and then bring in amoongus yeah actually no amoongus <laughs> and politoed and then urshifu in the back and i think my last mon is gonna have to be i kind of want to go incinerar kind of want to go incinerar all right, so we've got two fake out options here. Not really concerned about either one of them. I'll go ahead and I'll deal with um, who's more scary for my team. Definitely Whiplash over there, whatever you want to call it. So I'll go for a Scald into you, and I will actually hard switch in my Incineroar on what I assume to be an Ice move or fake out, whatever. Didn't know that thing got inner focus. That's really cool. Triple Axel. Okay, that's actually a cool move for that mon. I can go for fake out Scald though. He doesn't really have anything that wants to switch into it. Like, Gudra could switch in, but... Yeah, I don't know why you're switching in that thing. Yeah, give me your... Oh, I completely forgot about that inner focus ability. I'm stupid, but... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can Aqua Jet now. It doesn't matter? I don't know. I'm gonna Aqua Jet. I'm gonna get in Amoongus. Um, ooh, should I be concerned about this thing? Let me get in Amoongus and protect here. I'm kind of concerned that this thing has Thunder. Or Giga Drain, or any kind of grass coverage move. But I can put it to sleep, barring it being Sap Sipper, as he misses and gets rid of his own Pokemon for me. Yeah, there's that Max Lightning. <sighs> Let me think here. Let me think here. Um, I could Dynamax and outspeed that thing, but then I kind of lose to this thing if it's Sap Sipper. Which it probably is. Or I can get a Parish Song off and win. I think my end game is going to have to be Parish Song from this point on. So I'm going to Dynamax my Urshifu. Which might seem controversial. And it is. You guys should be very upset with that play. But I kind of got it. Yeah. This goes for the Triple Axe. So I should be able to... I really expected a fake out. That that's a shame, man. That's a shame. I lost. Good game. Good game. Unfortunate. You know, we take L's on this channel from time to time. It's usually more often than not. In fact, I'm very surprised I managed to make it this far into a video without losing until that point. GLHF. This is gonna be the final match of this game or of this video. So if you guys want to do me a favor, leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. We have um a scary team. Very scary team. Cannonade, 
isn't too bad for me because I have two water types. And those water types do pretty well defensively versus his team. They do pretty well. I'm thinking here, um, I can actually lead off Urshifu and Amoongus. In the back, I'm definitely thinking Incineroar, and I kind of want to go Polito, but my better judgment tells me to go Togekiss. We haven't clicked Dragapult once this this recording. I just noticed that. I just noticed that we haven't clicked Dragapult at all. Poor Dragapult, man. He really wants to be part of the squad. He's not. <laughs> Taking a minute. Really thinking about it. This team looks scary. I mean, it's super bulky. I'm assuming he's going to bring the... Um... Oh, okay. That's not what I was expecting. I thought he was actually going to lead off with uh, Cinderace and just go for a max airstream. So, what's really, really nice here is I should be able to put something to sleep barring a taunt, which I'm assuming that's their play. Like, they should taunt right here. Hmm. Or do they? Or do they? They actually have a couple of plays here. They actually have a couple of plays. So, um, I think here they're going to want to just go for Taunt into their max move. I'll go for Max Knuckle into the Lapras. I'm probably going to give it its weakness policy, but I'm willing to take that risk. As it actually doesn't Dynamax. So, I think uh, we just KO'd that Lapras. Yeah, okay, that's that's cool. That's really cool. Um, I still have my Togekiss in the back for follow me redirection, so it isn't really game over quite yet. Like, he, he thought, like, ah, yes, I stopped the redirection. Now he has to switch out and switch back in, but that's just not it. That's just not it. As he's... What? Is he not overgrow? In interesting. Um, <laughs> let me get in the Togekiss for redirection now. And Max Guard here. There's the Tailwind as he goes for the Wood Hammer. I'm, I'm going to be able to redirect both of those. Let me go for another Max Knuckle into that Rillaboom and follow me. That, this Max Knuckle is going to hurt. And then from that point on, I have really, really strong, unblockable Aqua Jets. God, Aqua Jet's such a good move for this Mon. Because, like, the thing is, when you click Aqua Jet, it's usually to pick up a KO on, like, a Sash Mon or a Mon that just has a lot of health taken off of it. And usually, your opponent's best place to stop in that is protecting or switching out. And not all the time is, in like, it isn't always the best play to switch out. So they're like, let me go for protect here. No, you just say, yeah, no, you're dead. You're dead, man. <laughs> Which is really cool. There's the taunt. Perfectly fine. I'm going to be able to take that. And I think this Max Knuckle might KO. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Wimscott doesn't KO me, or does it? Mm, I don't know. I still have... Yeah, good one. Uh, I think here I should protect and get in a Moongus. <laughs> uh, or actually, maybe I just Aqua Jet. Actually, no. My play is definitely protect, get in a Moongus, because next turn I can actually just Surging Strikes for the KO. Let's see if he Airstreams. There's the Steel Spike. Interesting. Ooh, okay. Tell me you... Uh... Ooh, this is close. This is not how I wanted it to go. I can win this game with Incineroar, but it depends on if he's got high jump kick, which they probably do. Do I follow me here, risking getting KO'd by Amoongus? I think I do. Let me Surging Strikes, follow me. Or Rage Powder. And again, he has Giga Drain. Nah, I just Aqua Jet every time. Switch in the Incineroar. Get some Regenerator going. Aqua Jet's going to do a lot of damage. Not as much as I hoped. As he airstreams. Alright. Um, I can win this, but it's going to be real close. Let me think here. If I get in Togekiss, that forces him to need to having to steal Spike. Let me go for Dazzling Gleam because it just seems to be the best play. I don't think his max knuckle KOs my Incineroar from this range, so I'll go ahead and I'll just go for the Raw Flare Blitz. Because if he goes for max Steel Spike, that's going to do a lot. I need to get to the Whimsicott versus Amoongus 1v1 because then I win. 
I could try to get in Moongus here, but I'm pretty certain that, um, pretty certain that he's going to target Togekiss. There's the taunt. Yeah, he was expecting, like, a follow me or something. I actually take that really well. And this is going to be doing a decent amount of damage. Flare Blitz isn't quite going to pick up the KO, but I don't know if he can avoid getting knocked out. No. Has he revealed Protect? I think I always just double into Cinderace. He has no way of, like, knocking out both of my Mons before I can do that. And then Amoongus comes in and wins. Yeah, I'll just double into Cinderace. There's the low kick. Beautiful. Good game. Go for the Heat Wave. Go for the Clear Smog. That's game, man. GG. Very well played, though. Very well played. Yeah, uh, I always forget, like, Rage Powder, because we haven't clicked Rage Powder in, like, a year. Like, nothing good got that. Like, we were stuck with Butterfree, so I always forget how Rage Powder works now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. You're amazing. Check out the merch. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. We're trying to reach uh, 150 today. And, yeah, have a nice night. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, also, I have a Discord. Discord's in the description. Bye. <laughs>